Hi guys, I'm Chris. And I'm James. And welcome to The Better At The Net. And today we are celebrating Chinese New Year for 2020. As you can hopefully tell by the, the lanterns. Yes. Um, Wealth and prosperity, well, I'm told. I believe so. Uh, as is the usual greeting for Chinese Year, Chong Fat Choi. I believe it's also not Happy New Year's, it's more like Wealth and Prosperity, so ah, is what it equates to. There you go. Um, so we're moving into the year of the rat. And so there's 12 zodiac signs, depending on different types of animals, etc. Yep. Um, and they're actually I didn't know this, they were broken into five different types of metals, mm -hmm. and each metal relates to a colour. So this one, or oh, sorry, five different types of elements, one of which is metal, which we're doing today. Yes. And it is the white colour, and there's like also gold is another one, and I can't remember the other three, because yes. it's today's show. So hence why we are wearing white shirts. Yeah, exactly, right? Yes. It works perfectly. We've got the, the red lanterns, yep. the white shirts. It's, well, we're, we're well prepared. I'm trying to work out the metal bit, but... No, metal, 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 metal. Well, we're, we're into it. Yeah. So anyway, so then, and, and we like metal. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. It's been a new intro for this show. It's just yeah. heavy metal. Uh, that actually uh, works. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so it follows the Chinese new lunar calendar, not the Western calendar of one January. So this year it changes date every year. I think it's like the first new moon or something of the new, like the new year. Yeah. Year. So it's twenty fifth of January this year. Yes. So. Yeah, so today we're going to be celebrating and enjoying, hopefully, a very nice Chinese-esque whiskey. Yes, yes. Um, and uh, he says esque because this is not actually a Chinese whiskey. We're actually going to be reviewing a... <laughs> we're, not, we're not getting into that kind of argument on this show. Taiwanese <laughs> whiskey. So, um, more specifically, Taiwanese whiskey. Um, the Cavalier Solist, which is an ex-bourbon cast-strength whiskey. <laughs> Is it ever? <laughs> yes, and is it ever? Uh, okay, so solist actually comes from the German uh, term of soloist, uh, which uh, in this instance actually refers to the expression of the Catalan's single cask range. Um, and uh, yeah, they like kind of using these music metaphors. Yeah, I believe. So yeah, it is a common theme throughout their expressions, yeah, and they use so. like music metaphors and yeah. um, you know. Uh, yeah, that, that kind of stuff. So um, what this one is between uh, 160 to about 200 barrels I think, yeah. Yeah, um, for, for each, each release. Each release, yeah. Yep, uh, and they're matured in ex-bourbon casks um, and uh, that are made up of you know mostly American white oak. Yep, um, it's similar to what the Japanese often use when they use the American white oak. I think Taiwanese yeah. uh, or Taiwan is using the simple Cabernet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you get that nice sort of like vanilla, really soft sort of notes coming through on, on those ones. Hopefully. We'll I see. Being cast strength, um, coming up to my next point, 59.4%. So, if I'm not mistaken, as a standalone whiskey that we are trying on this channel, yes. this one is... So, there's actually a distillery Leffler, I think, down in South Australia, that does like 66 Hundred percent, sixty five percent. I've tried one there. Yeah, but this by far away is the most yes high ABV I've seen, and it varies. Obviously, it's ABV and they cast strength and they limited batch releases. Depends on what iteration or what release you get. Because if you found this bottle two or three years ago, it's like fifty seven percent or something. Yep, and then it became fifty eight, and now it's really that's 60. one of the beauties of cast yeah. strength releases is that what you actually have is uh, variations in the ABV because it all depends on the interaction of the barrels, the yeah. maturation, um, and so whatever it comes out of the barrel as is what it is bottled as. So this particular one, yeah. luckily enough, we are here to try the one of the strongest expressions of this particular <laughs> release, which is the 59.4%. It's not a chill filter, no age statement around it, um, but wow, uh, yeah. almost 60%. And I, know, I have tried sixty percent ABV before. Uh, quite um, interesting, some of the flavors that you get at those higher ranges yeah. of the alcohol content. But sometimes you have those, like the two bourbons we've done. Yeah, two of them. Sorry, that's a Tennessee whiskey. That's a bourbon. The Kentucky Spirit isn't here. They were like mid fifties, right? Yeah, and we didn't, you didn't really notice the punch in the face. You often notice when you have yeah. really high ABV. Like when I had Eagle Rare bourbon, I want to say. Bars for being out. Yep. You notice is it Eagle Rare? No, Knob Creek. You really notice the like fifty percent there. So yeah. I'm hoping this is more like them than like that. Well, if the packaging is anything to go by, 
then this is going to be something to be holding. So I do love the two award medallions they've stuck on there for the two awards they won in 2017. Yeah. The international and, one is Bruce Ward and etc. And when you say medallion, you are not exaggerating. They are literal medallions. But I think they're metallic. They are. Oh, oh. Or is it just plastic? It, it, feel, it feels plastic, it actually. Plastic. But it looks metal. Yeah. Um, metal. Uh, <laughs> but i got to say, the packaging alone for this is unlike anything yeah. else. Like, even the latch, right, is shiny. Latch. And it had a bit of plastic over it to keep it, like, safe and unscratched. I don't know whether you notice, I just pop the latch off. Mm -hmm. It just sort of pops open. Um, the Paul John had very beautiful packaging. Yeah, with the kind of papery yeah. cardboard. Inside. And this, if you can see... It has a little certificate of authenticity. It has yeah. Yeah, little moisture absorbers so yeah, that so the packaging just doesn't get, you know, uh, ruined. That's like like foam. It's, yeah, yeah it, it's, it's a nice soft foam. It's it's actually sort of stuck inside the uh, the, oh, the case as well. <laughs> it it is it is. And it gives you a bit of the history of it as well. So what these often do as well, like, like the just the gold trim and stuff, but it gives you the history as well that we've seen with the Dow Mall and, yep. and those type of ones. Yeah. This is by far the most elegant and regal packaging that we have mm -hmm. come across so far. So you have got those ones, which yeah, yeah, the Archie Rose. Not very, bad. very, very, very nice. Definitely not bad. Definitely not bad. Um, but the Dunedin as well, with its little velvet case as well, would be close. Yeah. This. Can you get it out? <laughs> yeah, I can get it out. So this this has gone next level, definitely. And I've got to tell you, the bottle it matches the Cavalier sort of style. You have the the different colours for the different expressions on their labels. Yes. Nice gold writing. They they break it up sort of very consistently, and just all in all, I I'm gushing. I think fifty nine point four percent, fifty nine point four at the bottom of the bottle. Yes, yeah. but not only that. I, I don't know whether you guys noticed or not, but uh, in the same sort of gold looking um, you know sign at the front of the uh, the label 59.4 percent and I don't know whether you saw that down yeah. there yeah the big yeah, yeah they're, they're making sure people yeah. people know <laughs> people people how strong this is going to be exactly what we're uh, what we're going to uh, to undertake with this one so yeah very much um, oh, it's beautiful what, what, what would you call it like it's like a, a ceremony in itself of just opening it open. Uh, cracking it open, I should say. And to me, it strikes me as very like Vegas, very show pony esque. It it seems it's almost artificial. It seems almost way. blasphemous to open this thing. I actually, honest. yeah, that's what I was trying to. I said earlier, it's like I almost feel bad that we're attempting this. At the yes. Moment. Yeah. So it gives a bit of the history, which we spoke about when we did the Catalan Single Mole Classic up there, that it's named after the original indigenous inhabitants. Of the people there was the Cavalier clan, I believe, in the northwest of Thomas. Very nice, and it's run by some Taiwanese or owned by some Taiwanese billionaire who had to wait till the World Trade Organization allowed them in, like two thousand two or whatever it is, um, because they had some weird spirits law that they could only produce some certain type of spirits until mm -hmm. the World Trade Organization allowed them in. Which I'm not quite sure. It's quite strange. <laughs> I was going to say. Thank you. <laughs> Otherwise, that is an extraordinarily healthy pour for me that you're not involved in. <laughs> wow. It's only 59.4. You'll be fine. <laughs> I, I will join you on this this path. I, I've got to say, I smell the uh, the cork. It, it is synthetic, as 99.9% you know, yeah. of corks are now. Um, it has a wonderful smell to it. Oh, really? And add, like, there's a lot of sherry coming through on it. I'm, you know, so mm. I'm, I'm assuming that there there is a lot of sort of sherry. It's too deep, but it still does it. You still notice if you're not that poor. Yeah. Because I've tried the the Solis that won the Best Whiskey Award just after, I think, Sullivan's Cove in 2016. Mm. And it's another Solis. Uh, it's, I think it comes in a purple cake, so it's not quite as strong. It had a really nice nose and aroma, but it's like uber expensive. And so, yeah, this is fine with it. A lot of the back's got a little drink-wise sticker someone's stuck onto a the bottle. Yeah, so uh, anything that gets imported into Australia, they have to have a drink-wise um, uh, warning, basically suggesting that you shouldn't drink this while you're pregnant. So if you didn't know already, 
if you are pregnant, don't drink alcohol. Um, that can have a that if you're not sixty, nearly sixty percent. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and in any kind of imported uh, whiskies or alcohols, they actually have to have that label on there. I got we're bottle forty six of one hundred and eighty four. All right, so, so we're fairly uh, fairly low. I'd like to get bottle number one. Wouldn't that be incredible? I wouldn't have been cracking that. I'd be saying no, that. Yeah, you can yeah. say that forever. I but got, I, I didn't look before we cracked it. So I got to say, you get a lot of sweet fruits coming through on the nose. There's a definite freshness coming through. I really think there's a lot of uh, not a lot, but there's a, a sherry influence uh, behind it. That it does like it does remind me of sherry from doing some of the other ones we've done, like the Glen Park and stuff. That cherryness to it, not yep. super on the palate of it or on the nose of it, but yeah, agreed. But you hit the the nail on the head when you said if you breathe too deep, you get that alcohol yeah. coming through. It's still not that bad. Fifty nine point four, like no. you, you're at sixty percent, guys. Like yeah. this, this is something that is next level in terms of. You would expect some like if you breathe too deep, but like we've tried other ones that are like. 40, 45, and we breathe too deep, deep. It's like, oof. Yeah. That's just on the edge, right? It's not that bad. Not that bad. And it's still allowing a lot of those sweet aromas to come through. Very, very nice. Um, you know, you, you get kind of like uh, peaches uh, on the nose. Um, interesting, when we tried the other Cavalan, so we we'll, we'll tried a Cavalan before, uh, the mango was an influence. Yes, they get for the tropical fruits. Yeah. Mango was one of the fruits. And so you're getting a lot of light fruits coming through. I don't get to more specific to like mango. No, I, I, I get it right. Yeah, you're, you're, those type of fruits, I definitely agree. The light fruits. Yeah. Kind of like a nice oh, honey. Honey as jew. well. I get a honey jew. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Right? Honey jew melon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, okay. Yeah, no, very much so. Like a rock melon, honey jew melon. Um, you definitely, I definitely noticed that now, actually. Yeah. Uh, so what was, what was the term that they... They used it's not cheers, it's gong. Oh, this isn't a cheese either, it's gong hi fat choy. Gong hi fat choy. Gong hi fat choy is what you say usually when you um, wish someone happy Chinese New Year. Wow, okay, so you got all those sweet notes coming through on the nose. I'm getting a peach now on the nose. Yeah, mm. anyway, sorry, keep going. Oh, on the palate, you feel the 60%. You really, really feel it, and that's not in a bad way. You feel the warmth. It's, it's yeah. just warmth to me. It is it is like another level on a whiskey kind of thing. Like you get the sweetness mm. coming through. There's, again, the nose really sort of carries through on the palate because you get those sweet fruit notes. It is quite similar, which we often find it isn't. I really feel like, it, is this, because I, I know it, it said virgin white oak, um, like the American white oak, but it really feels like there's an X sherry um, influence it. in it, yeah, somewhere because it really has that that sort of sherry sweetness to it. It's it's quite incredible, and if it doesn't, then they've really mimicked that kind of flavour. It is it's really you definitely well. notice on the nose the sherry. Like yeah. I could probably pull the Glen Farkas down and nose the two together, and you'd be they're fairly similar in some yeah. ways. Yeah, you you can definitely get that same sort of influence yeah. behind it. Um, that sixty percent definitely sort of gets you. I get that warmth all the way through. But it's not a kick, like you'd expect. It's just yeah, warmth. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it turned into a bit of a spice on my tongue mm. when you had it for too long. Back of the throat, I get it. Yeah, the spice. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's sixty percent. What what do you expect? Yeah. It, it's going to happen. Exactly. Um, but it's not like a, a rye spice where it makes you salivate. It more <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. It more just opens your palate up, like to the different sort of flavors. So being it the car strength, they're not mimicking or not masking any of the flavors or trying to mimic any other flavors. This is exactly what's coming through and it's really nice, it's really sweet. Interrupt. I was, the was is quite nice. I was hoping for something more. It just says we won. We won. <laughs> the International Spirits Champion, Spirits Challenge 2006, 2017 and the International Whiskey Spirits Challenge Champion Worldwide Whiskey Trip 2017. So, and APV, so you want to know the range, 54 to 59.4. So we've got the top of the range of yes. what they've won. <laughs> but I was hoping like they're going to go, like, signed, even if it's a fake thing by someone going, you have bottle whatever of this range. Yeah, well, that, that's what uh, I thought. I thought it was a certificate of authenticity. Yeah, so did I. But, well, clearly it, it is a certificate of authenticity, but not what we expected. Yes, it's a, a different one. It's yeah. more a brag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they didn't notice that enough at the front. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but i got to say, like, I, I dig it. You know, the, the, 
they know what they do well, and then they've just basically uh, not doubled down on it, but just said, "This is this is great." Like they're not hiding it from anyone. They're just going, "This is who we are. This, this is, is the kind of the expressions that we like to make. This is the the remit that we kind of have. Therefore, this is what it is." Yeah, and it does. It's yeah. deserving of the kind of quality of packaging that it's got. Yeah. Like. It's it's up there in terms of the ABV. It's very like for something something sixty percent. It's very easy and e- comfortable to drink. Oh, it's pleasant. In some ways, yeah, very pleasant. Although we have had a couple. Let's be honest, we've had a, one or two drinks before this. I would like. I don't know if I'd want to start. This is my very first drink of the day. True, and, but I don't know if I wouldn't. I have sadly. I'm not doing that. Maybe we <laughs> next time we try. Mm. It. But like I said I've only had one or two, so it's not as though my palate's been ruined over the day. But what you've also got to think as well, like this has got thirty three standard drinks in it. Value for money wise, when you look at some of the other ones that are like twenty two standard drinks, if you're looking at like the forty yeah, percent, this range, is fifty percent more. Yeah, like this is fifty percent more. If it costs fifty percent more than some of the other ones that are quite nice. Um, then do you remember how much this costs? They're they're being Usually. yeah they're they're being consistent with um with that sort of tropical fruit flavor. Mm. Nice fruity, fairly light for a six percent, but yeah, it is, isn't it? it? It's definitely on the lighter side. There's not. But yeah, that that generous pour is um. <laughs> There's only so much I can pull apart by a drink. Very very yeah. true. Yeah. Well, because we've got the Cavalier Classic back up there. We've also got the Cavalier Port cask, I want to say, the green yes. version of that. Yes. That we'll do at a future episode. And uh, I think I mentioned in the last Cavalier episode, I've heard mixed reviews on that port cask. So mm. I'm, I'm interested to try it, um, just to see how consistent it is with their brand. But uh, so I think yeah, once we've tried it, I think we should compare and work away from the classic through the port. Can we this. compare packaging? Because uh, I know which one's going to win. Yeah, well, given the other one, those two are exactly the same. One's just brown, one's green. Otherwise, there's no difference, but this is blinged up. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, blinged up. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Um, yeah, wow. That, uh, it's a win for me. I mean, it's 60% pleasant <laughs> to drink. I don't think I'd be doing a bottle in a session. <laughs> what we'd be sharing, even sharing a bottle in a session. I, I would really, because lo- this this is uh, like middle of summer for us. Um, as a 60%, it's still light enough. It that very much, yeah. Maybe over some ice, it might be a little bit easier to just absorb because the, the heat from the 60%, it is, it is you know... You do start to notice it. It's chesty. Particularly like, as we're moving through a glass. I'm noticing yes. it a bit more. Yeah. yeah, and fairly quickly in all, you know, um, I suppose aspects of it. <laughs> but if you had it over a bit of ice, I reckon that that's a good sipper. I reckon that's a really oh, nice sipper. We should have brought some water to... to Put yes. some water in. Yeah. We haven't eaten that organized, sadly, for today. We got lanterns and that was a lot of effort. Yeah, I was going to say. building them. That took about three hours yeah. and a couple of drinks later. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we have to stop for a And yeah, and many profanities. Oh. Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. <laughs> Mid show. <laughs> Not a look I want on camera. <laughs> ah! No. But anyway, on that note, I, I think uh, for me that that's that's a win. That's a wrap. Yeah, and a, and a win for yeah, definitely. It was. I would suggest I preferred some of the other cast strength ones more for the bourbon, but that's because this one, after having however much of a hatter in the glass, you do start to notice the fire. You really do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very potent. Present. After, I'd suggest a nip's worth. It's potent. Yeah, I I can't hold it against it. Because no, not at all. Because you know it, don't you? Right? They're yeah. very clear about it. It's six percent. The flavors are still very nice, but after a one essential nip of it, you notice yeah. it's getting potent. Yeah, I'd really like to try that on ice. Maybe it might dull down a little bit of that fire, uh, especially in the summer months here in uh, Australia. Yep. But for me, yeah, I, I'm I'm recommending that if you can get your hands on it. Yeah. Uh, and you want to spend the money? It, yeah, exactly. If if not just for the packaging, because it is something else but on that note guys we will say uh gong hai fat choi gong hi fat choi gong hi fat choi uh to all you out there and uh, we'll see you next time see ya see ya bye hey thanks for joining us at the better out than in remember if you like this video to like it share it and subscribe to our channel if you have any feedback or suggestions leave us a comment 
or drop us a line. To better admin and support to the responsible service and consumption of alcohol, if you or a friend would like any more information about this, please visit drinkwise.org.au or your local alcohol support organisation.